Hey guys, it's Nate Brand with Six Pack Shortcuts here to tell you about seven everyday foods that are slowly killing you. Number seven, canned tomato sauce. When it comes to hidden sources of sugar and high fructose corn syrup, your favorite can of tomato sauce is likely one of the su sweetest culprits. Secretly contributing to the increased rates of obesity, diabetes, coronary artery disease, as well as dental decay. To top your pasta with a healthier sauce, check labels for a low sugar, low sodium tomato sauce, or make your own using fresh tomatoes and herbs. You can also find cans of pureed tomatoes with no added sugars or salt to the mix, and with a bit of extra virgin olive oil, fresh spices or chopped onions and garlic for added flavor. Remember, it's always best to add your own spices so you know exactly what's going into your food. Number six, prepackaged deli meats. Nitrates may sound like a ticking time bomb, which isn't far from the truth when you consider the levels of sodium, preservatives, and additives that lend to their rosy shade, like ham, salami, and bologna. Adults who regularly partake risk increased rates of heart disease and cancer. If you need meat for sandwiches, buy deli meat straight from your local butcher and have them sliced to order. They may not last as long as packaged meats, but they'll contain far fewer harmful preservatives. You can also buy a flat of chicken breasts and slice them into thin strips for sandwiches and stir fries as you need them throughout the week. Number five, whole milk. Aside from the fact that whole milk dairy products contain far too many saturated or bad fats, they're also jam-packed with another ingredient that will put you out of your cereal, bovine growth hormone, BGH. This synthetic hormone is engineered in the lab to boost the milk production of cows. Animal milk alternatives such as almond, soy, and rice milk are also options to consider. Number four, hot dogs. Hot dogs are not a protein source you should be eating. By hot dogs, I'm really referring to any smoked, cured, or salted meat that contains chemical preservatives. Findings from the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine claim that processed hot dogs should carry cigarette-style warning labels. It turns out America's favorite ballpark treat is so full of sodium and chemicals and toxins that regularly weekly consumption can increase your risk of collectoral cancer by about 21%. Luckily, chemical-free hot dogs and sausages are yours for the taking at organic butchers and are often straight from the farm. Number three, sports drinks like Gatorade. Sports drinks were designed for athletes who have just finished an intense training session with massive sweating and glycogen depletion. For this reason, they contain water, electrolytes, and sugar. Now, if your goal is to get a six pack, then drinking these after your workouts will not help you lose weight at all. One bottle of Gatorade contains over 30 grams of sugar. If you drink one of these a day, you're more likely to get diabetes than to get shredded. You're better off sticking to plain water, which you should certainly drink plenty of, especially around the workouts. Number two, gluten-free junk foods. Guys, just because it's gluten-free doesn't mean it's good for you. Many people have started to avoid gluten, and gluten's a protein found in wheat, spelt, rye, and barley, and a few other grains. Almost a third of the US population currently wants to cut back on gluten or go gluten-free. Food manufacturers have caught up on the trend and have started offering all sorts of gluten-free health foods. The problem with these foods is that they're usually not healthy at all. Instead of gluten grain, they're made with other starches such as potato starch, tapioca starch, or some others. These starches are usually highly refined and void nutrients and spike blood sugar fast, just like wheat. And number one, artificial sweeteners. Splenda is the worst. This is one of the hardest things for people to believe but artificial sweeteners really aren't solving any weight loss problems. In fact, they're actually, they may be making things even worse. You might have made the swap from refined white sugar to an artificial sweetener like acesulfamine, potassium, aspartame, neotane, saturin, or sucralose because artificial sweeteners contain fewer calories. However, just because the FDA labels them safe for human consumption doesn't necessarily mean you should. Numerous studies have linked low and zero calorie foods and beverages to heightened risk of me metabolic syndrome, high blood pressure, type two diabetes, weight gain, and cardiovascular disease. In fact, many food scientists consider aspartame the most dangerous substance on the planet. If you need a touch of sweetness, use natural agave syrup, honey, or real maple syrup sparingly. Once again, guys, this is Nate Brand with Six Pack Shortcuts. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check us out on YouTube or go to sixpackshortcuts.com for more workout and nutritional advice. Thank you, guys.